So once you add the React Hot Toast, so let's start working on to this uh, update button. So whenever I click onto this update button, so this should uh, open this user and also so this should uh, open the update user form. So let me just go into this uh, application here and here simply create a, a new folder called update user. So just type update user and inside here. So let's create a, a file called update just JSX. And similarly, so let's create another file called update.css for styling. And inside this update.jsx, so let's create a, a functional component. So let's create a functional component and let's call it update form. And here also, so let's uh, import the update.css for styling. So just import uh, update dot css so we will uh, later create this uh, so since uh, we have already created the form for add user so we will just simply copy that form but for now so let's uh, first of all fix the routing so for fixing the routing just go into this app.js so inside here so first of all so we just have to add the path so just uh, add the path so the path will be basically update slash colon id so since we are passing the ID into the URL and also similarly so we just have to uh, pass the element so the element will be basically whenever we click into this uh, update button so this will navigate us to this update slash uh, ID of the specific user so let's type update so just import the update and so now this should uh, be fine here so similarly so just go into this get user and user.jsx so if you just go down here so you can see the button for uh, update so this is the button for update so just simply change this into link first of all so just change this into link and also make sure to import here as well and so just type link to and so we just have to link to update so since we are passing the id so we just have to give the uh, back tick sign here and slash update and beside here just type plus and so since we are passing the user id so just type user dot underscore id so this underscore id is basically a id of the mongodb database so since we will be displaying this id so just we are just uh, writing this underscore id now this should be fine i guess so let me just uh, go into this uh, react application here and if i just click onto this update button so you can see so this id is displaying here and you can see the update form so now we will be working on this update form so for update form so we will basically copy the code from this add user so just go into the add user and simply uh, copy the whole code from here so just simply copy the whole code and you can just simply go into this update.jsx and simply paste inside here and here so we just have to change some of the things first of all so we just have to change this into update.css and also we need this uh, add user so we just have to change this into uh, update user and below here so just simply change this into update user and similarly so instead of this add user here so we just have to type something like update user and if I just save and go here and reload this, so you can see, so this has already opened this update user form. So if I just click here, so this is also opening the update user form. Before moving ahead, but the update user uh, styling is working fine, but we haven't styled in the update.css. Uh, this is because so we have got the same class name here. So if you want to add, you can just simply copy from add user.css to uh, update.css. So it will still work fine. So now we will be making some changes on this, onto this uh, update user form. So just go into the application here and here. So first of all, so we just have to save the uh, initial value of the form. So for that, so we will be getting the, uh, extract the ID parameter from the URL. So for that, so we will be using the use params from the React Router DOM. So for that, so let me just simply type use params here. So first of all, let's import use params. And below here, so just simply type const. So let me just uh, extract the ID. And so ID is basically, we are grabbing it from the 
parameter. So let me just simply type use params. So once you get the ID, so now we will be uh, writing the code to uh, get the information of that specific ID. So for that, you will, we will be using the uh, get method. So and XGS. So for that below here, so let me just simply type uh, use effect. So just type use effect and inside here. So just simply type uh, XGS dot get and for getting the specific ID. So we will be using the uh, backtick again here. So for getting the user with the specific ID. So we had created this API. So let me just try to grab this ID from here and if I just put it here and click on send so you can see so we are getting the uh, user with the specific ID so let me just uh, copy this one from here and simply paste inside here and so since we will be passing the ID so just simply type dollar and pass the ID which we have just extracted from the parameter. So once this is done on response, so if this existed uh, get is successful, so in response, so we will be setting the user with that specific ID. So let me just simply set user and simply type response dot data. And if there's any error, so we just have to catch the error. So just type dot catch and here. So just simply type error and simply uh, console log the error so just console log and simply print the error and here so we just have to pass the id so just pass id so what this id means is that the effect will run whenever the id variable changes so once this is done so we just have to now set the initial value of the input field so for that we will be just typing the value so just type value and just type user dot name and similarly, so in value here, so we just have to type user dot email and here. So in value, so we will be just typing the user dot address. So once this is done, so if I just click on to the specific user, so this should now display this uh, ID here. So you can see the ID and you can see the initial value uh, John Doe. So this is before updating. So we will later create the function for updating but for now so this is working fine so similarly so if i just click onto this ram so you can see so this is loading the initial value so now for actually uh, updating the user so we just have to make some changes onto this submit form so first of all so we just have to change this uh, post into put so since we are updating the uh, user and instead of this uh, link so we just have to first of all uh, do the back code here so since we are using the um, ID so we will be using the ID so let me just clear this one and if I just go into the postman on put here so we can see so we are updating the user like this so let me just simply copy this one and simply paste inside here and so since we will be uh, passing this ID here so just simply type dollar ID so since we have already uh, grabbed the ID from the uh, use params so here you can see so this will so the toast success message but since we haven't set the uh, success message in the backend so let me just go into the backend first so let me just go into the user controller and on update user so if you just go down here on on this response so we just have to change into the something like uh, let me just uh, grab it from the uh, add user which we have uh, done before so let me just simply grab it from here and simply uh, paste below here and so instead of user created successfully so we can say something like user updated successfully so now if i just check on postman so now if i just try to uh, update the user so let, let me just first of all get the user and try to update this user with this id so let me just grab the id from here and simply paste inside here and so if i just go into the gate here so you can see the name is john do email is john at the resume.com so let me just grab this one from here and let me just go into the put and let me just simply paste inside here and so let me just clear this and instead of this John Doe, so let me just uh, say something like John Doe uh, updated and John updated. Email also John updated. And let me just see, say this updated. 
and if I just click on send so you can see the message user updated successfully and so this should have also updated onto the database as well so let me just reload this one so you can see so this has updated successfully but in front end so let me just go into the front end here so here onto this update.jsx and now so now this should be working fine so if i just try to update this uh, so if i just reload this so you can see zone do updated here now so let me just try to update it from here so let me just uh, remove this updated and click on submit so you can see the user updated successfully message on under the top this is from react hot toast and the name is updated similarly let's try to update the email so let me just try to write something like uh, zeo only and let me just remove this one as well and click on submit so you can see the user updated successfully and the user has been updated so let me just try to update this uh, this one so let me just try to update this into lina and just try to update this into lina and let me just try to write address something like australia and if i just click on submit the user updated successfully and the, you can see the user has been updated as well and if you just check onto the database as well so if you just reload here so you can now see the updated data here so this is how you can uh, implement the update into the front end as well so so we have now implemented successfully the uh, update functionality and add user functionality as well so you can also see the uh, getting user from the database so this is for get so now we are finally uh, about to start the delete functionality and our crowd application will be completed so now let's get into the delete functionality